Hi guys, that's what I was everyone doing. Good, good, good. I hope today I'm reviewing Jean Paul Gaultier's Essence de Parfum or Classic Essence de Parfum. Now, personally, I a few years ago just kind of stopped taking notice of Jean Paul Gaultier's flankers because there's just so many of them. I mean, there's so many variations of this bottle, I just kind of lost track and interest. Until recently, um, I've been visiting my best friend Michelle quite a bit. And um, she has been smelling great. I'm just gonna put it out there. She, I said to her every time, what is that again? What are you wearing again? And she told me it's Jean Paul Gaultier Intense. Not this one, the gold one, which I also have, which will be reviewed within the next week, maybe two. Um, which got me on to looking at reviews of some of the more recent flankers. And then I found this and got it because it is a great one. I haven't smelled many of the other ones, but the two that I've got, loving. So maybe the moral of that story is, don't give up on flankers. So this one is gorgeous. It came out in 2016, September. It's an oriental floral. Um, and I'll start by saying that I can kind of smell the original one off in the distance, but this one to me is way better. So let me show you the bottle and everything because it's lovely, very, very lovely signature thing, they come in a tin thing. I always freak out when I open them because I think the bottle's gonna fly out and I'm weakened, weakened. Okay, ah, there you go. So here's the bottle. So gorgeous, this one. This is the first one they've done that kind of looks a bit different in terms of the way it's shaped. This one's more faceted and edgy and the other ones are more voluptuous, I guess you could call it, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I really, really love the bottle. I, I, that was what drew me to it in the first place. And then I started looking up what was in it and I thought, ha, yeah, gonna like that one. Because it is essentially a white floral and white florals are some of my personal favorites and among some of the most beautiful fragrances you can buy. So, so let me just spray it on my hand. Um, I wanted to mention the spray before I give you the notes actually. This has got a very deep sprayer. It reminds me kind of the Dior sprayers. They throw out a lot of fragrance. If you compare kind of CK1, which has got short, sharp little bursts, to this, it sprays out a lot of fragrance. So you're going to have a lot of it on you, whether you like it or not. And for me, that's a good thing. So, wow, man alive. This is a very, very beautiful fragrance. And I do want to mention the quality of it. I'm going to, I never really do this, but I'm going to do it first. This lasts upwards of 12 hours, 12 hours, probably more on me. Um, it really, really lingers this one, and on clothes, um, upwards of 20, I would say. I sprayed this on my pyjamas yesterday, because yesterday I didn't get out of my pyjamas at all. I do that sometimes. And this morning, it still smells of Jean Paul Gaultier Essence on my pyjamas, so there you go. You can tell it's good quality, it's kind of oily on your skin when you spray it. You can feel the kind of resiny sort of feeling of it, so you know it's going to stick right on. So, that's a really good plus point that I wanted to start with. Anyway, the notes. So the top notes are ginger, aldehydes, and tangerine. The heart notes are orange blossom and sandback jasmine. Orange blossom is kind of the thread that goes through a lot of the Jean Paul Gaultier flankers. It's kind of the signature note, I think. And then the base notes are whipped cream, vanilla, woodsy notes of a nondescript nature, benzoin, and also cashmere, or cashmere woods, I think, is in it as well. It says cashmere woods on Fragrantica. And um, so this is Gorgeous. I recently did this in my top five aut autumn fragrances, but it can easily translate into summer as well. I put it as an autumn one because of the strength, um, but white florals are really great in summer. And this one opens with a very, it's very, very sweet because it has vanilla and whipped cream in it, but it never goes to gourmand, which is great. And the reason for that is tangerine and orange blossom. The the kind of fresh nature of orange blossom and the citrus element of tangerine kind of cuts through the fragrance. So I think what would have been possibly a quite cloying and overly sweet gourmand floral kind of fragrance isn't. Um, and it's really nicely balanced in that way. So you have a lot of orange blossom. The jasmine actually takes a back seat for me on this one, which is kind of cool because orange blossom is fresher and jasmine, I've said before, can sometimes take over. So you have a very, it's very sweet, but it's not sickly sweet because um, of what I just said. Yeah, I just said that. Move on, Tom, move on. So imagine kind of like a, a kind of sexy, glamorous-ish orange creamsicle. 
that's kind of what it smells like with orange blossom as well, so with a floral element. So you have a heady white floral in here that's never overpowering. You have a gorgeous smoothness from this whipped cream and vanilla and sweetness, but not too sweet. And then you have the tangerine kind of cutting through and balancing it out. It's really, really great. This fragrance gets compared a lot to um, Terry Mugler's Essence, Alien Essence Absolute. I kind of see why. But imagine Alien Essence Absolute without so much jasmine and orange blossom replacing it and not so much of a dull heady kind of sweetness because I think Alien Essence Absolute has a kind of dull head like sweetness. This is more about a creamy vanilla sweetness than that kind of strange dull heady sweetness. Also think Guerlain's Terracotta with no coconut in and more orange blossom and slightly more gourmand and you'll be on the right page. You see the territory that I'm trying to create here? This is where we are with this one. So the tangerine I think is perfectly placed. It's just right, it just cuts through. It just takes the edge off, like I said, what would have been a very sweet fragrance. And it stays like this for a, quite a while. I'm gonna say four, maybe five hours until it starts to change, but it only ever so slightly changes. If this isn't a huge morpher of a fragrance. Um, which I'm quite thankful for. You only really get a difference in the in the very dry stages. But for now, you have a mixture of white, smooth flowers, a bit of freshness, a bit of oranginess going on, and um, it's very kind of womanly sexy. I don't know, it's quite seductive, this one. I really, really like it. Cool. Yeah, you can stay. You're gonna move in. Yeah, you are. So I wanted to talk about Cashmere Woods quickly as well because they feature in a lot of fragrances and what they do is give a fragrance a kind of feeling or character. Um, it's kind of like that suede luxe kind of feeling. There's a lot of that in um, Olympi by Paco Rabanne. Um, you know, it's that kind of suede sort of, I don't know, fuzzy sort of feeling. And that's this has got a little bit of that going on which is just adding to the kind of I guess you could call it luxury feeling of it because it does feel a lot more luxury than the original uh, Jean Paul Gaultier fragrance. It's like it's been amped up a bit and it's not just a stronger version, it's actually, they've actually thought about it and it's more bold, I would say, and it's more full bodied than the, than the original one. It's, it's smoothed out by this gorgeous whipped cream and vanilla and stuff like that, so yeah. So the final stages of this are um, you see the tangerine disappears, which is kind of, you know, that's kind of a given, it's a citrus, it's not going to stick around forever. But once that goes away, you go into a slightly more floral heart. The jasmine still never, um, for me, overtakes. It's really more about the orange blossom. And at the very end, the very tail end of the fragrance, you're left with a very, I would say, almost delicate vanilla fragrance with just a bit of oomph to it. It's at its sweetest when it's at its driest which makes sense because vanilla always sticks around. Anyway, that's my review of Jean-Paul Gaultier Essence de Parfum. Really good addition to my wardrobe. I really like it. I'm gonna spray it on my friend Michelle because she's gonna love it. If you wanna get this fragrance, you can head over to notino.com or .co.uk. I'll post links direct below to where you can buy it. Um, that's where I got mine from. And yeah, I just really like this. It's a good one. I didn't think I was going to review Jean Paul Gaultier fragrances ever again. I've only reviewed one before. But there is another one coming. I have the intense version, which is the one with the gold thing on. I actually prefer that one to this one. Anyway, I'm up to Romano. Click my logo to subscribe down there, and I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye.